Hey guys, Luke here to bring you another diecast review, so let's shift it into gear and check it out. Alright guys, so how you guys doing today? I'm doing good. Um, so I told you that we were going to be moving away from the Matt Kenseth one. I think I spared you guys enough for a quick second. Although I do have a lot of those to go. Uh, so I figured we could do a Dale Jr. today. And this is his 2001 Pepsi 400 at Daytona All-Star Game. I believe it was, yep, Seattle that year. So, of course, I got some facts for you guys. We're going to check this out. You can see the little 350 in there. Look at that. They even had the Chevrolet on the uh, on the engine as well. On the valve covers. Alright, so I'm going to close this real quick. Alright. So, like I said, this is the 2001 Pepsi 400 uh, wind car. Uh, this is not the raced version, it's the clean version. Um, this is the first time they went back to Daytona since Dale Earnhardt died. So this was a very special race for Junior. Uh, very, very emotional for him. And it was very well deserved. So, if you give me just one second here. All right. So, if you guys don't know, Dale's real name is actually Ralph, named after his grandfather, Ralph Earnhardt, who is also a race car driver and a uh, NASCAR Hall of Famer as well. And he was born October 10th, 1974. Um, so, for the second fact here, uh, a lot of you guys don't know, maybe don't watch racing nowadays, but Dale Jr. actually owns his own nationwide series team, which is uh, once called the Bush Series, the Xfinity Series, now the Nationwide Series. Er, is it the Xfinity Series now? Xfinity Series now, uh, Nationwide Series then. Um, wow. This is just a really, really nice looking car. If you can't tell, um, it actually looks like the white is more of a pearl. I would almost call it like a GM Pearl, if you guys know what I'm talking about, on the Chevys and stuff like that. They got that special white Pearl color. Alright, so moving on here. Dale Jr. is a two-time, as I was saying, Bush Series champion. Uh, the one right below the Cup Series. Uh, he never did capture a Cup Series title, unfortunately. Inside. Give it a spin here. So, although he never won a cup title, as I said, he has won numerous times at Daytona, including two Daytona 500s. Uh, one. Oh, what year was that? I'm not sure. I forgot to write it down. Don't know right off the top of my head. I know they were 10 years apart, but I cannot say for sure. And I want to say it was like 2004 and 2014. Um, but I cannot remember. You guys can see the uh, Dale Jr. highlights up here. Oh, I think this was his Michigan win, if I think. Is that what they said? As you guys know, that's uh, my home track. All right, coming back down here. So he was also the most popular driver 15 times in a row, uh, which is crazy, uh, from 2003 to 2017. His first win was at Texas in 2000. And uh, that was a really cool moment because he got to celebrate it with his dad. 
can see the baseball. Uh, sorry, Let's see if it'll focus there. The uh, baseball stitching around the the bottom. It's just a super cool car. You don't really see anything like that nowadays, really. He's estimated at about four hundred million dollars worth. His life himself, whatever you want to call it. You got a picture on this side. The Outlaw. So he re retired with 26 cup wins, uh, which puts him in the top 40 all time. So pretty good. And what he's doing nowadays is broadcasting. So if you guys were a fan of Dale Jr., I suggest checking out when he's broadcasting because he's very, very knowledgeable, does a very good job. So I'll give you guys another spin around here. He was a uh, runner-up Rookie of the Year in 2000. Um, Matt Kenseth actually won the Rookie of the Year that year. The reason why I like Dale Jr. so much is because he was Matt Kenseth's buddy. You know, I picked Matt Kenseth out of that hat in 7th grade. Uh, I believe it was a tech ed project, NASCAR, just a reporter. And I was, man, I was fuming when I didn't get Dale Jr. I tell you what. But as I started looking around, I noticed him and Matt Kenseth were good buddies. They raced with each other. Rivals, but friends. So, it was all history from there you guys go all right guys thanks for checking this out listen to some facts and uh hopefully i'll be able to bring you one here again soon love you guys peace out hey guys thanks for watching this video if you guys could continue to like subscribe share and comment that would be greatly appreciated also don't forget to send in your video clips in to be featured thanks for watching